Tomorrow, Wednesday, November 13th, 2024, 2024 Tops Chrome Update officially releases to the public. And in today's video, we are going to be going over everything you need to know before you buy, if you already haven't, of course, 2024 Tops Chrome Update. And there is a twist in this video. We're going to talk all about it, so stay tuned, because after you hear this news, you might think twice about buying this box as a whole. Now, not singles necessarily, but as a whole, boxes. So let's get into it. So this is the last time I will promote the giveaway. Well, technically tomorrow, because I already actually pre-recorded tomorrow's video. So either way, I'm going to announce this one last time. We are giving away hobby packs and the newest product. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications, and comment what your favorite moment this baseball season was. Um, I'm probably going to announce the winner sometime next week. I just started looking at the at the comments. so And I have to go to the hobby store and pick up the packs as well, which I'm going on Friday because I already have a box of Chrome Update coming tomorrow. So I'm not going to buy another box. After you hear this news, you will probably think the same, th uh, the same way. So either way, let's get into it. And stay tuned to the very end because we are going to be opening an entire Fanatics Blaster Box. Yes, I already have it open, ready to go. Um, we have a Fanatics Blaster Box here on standby. I uh, came in last week, finally getting around to it um, because I said, why not? Because I really don't have a lot to talk about in this video. Um, so why not open an entire box? So stay tuned to the end. We will open that up. Hopefully we pull some good teals or whatever they're called, aquas or whatever. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So we are going to be covering three formats today. Um, we are not going to be covering the Breakers Delight scam. Um, and we'll talk a lot about those because, man, oh, man, I have a strange feeling that the parallels are all going in there. And we're going to talk about that because we have some major breaking news regarding parallels in these boxes. You're not going to want to miss that. I promise you. So either way, let's start out with the cheapest, then we'll work our way up. And again, not talking about Breakers Delight scam. Nobody should be buying those. I mean, they're like $500. You get how many autos? I think two autos and like two numbered cards and then exclusive like x fractors or something like that. It's not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. With the autograph checklist, by the way, <clears throat> Not good. I mean, there's one opening out there. Um, I don't know who made the video. Um, it's out there right now to watch. There might be more by the time this video goes live. Um, guy opened a jumbo. These two guys opened a jumbo, and man, oh man, was it terrible. Was it awful? What a waste of four hundred dollars that was. So, either way, let's start out with the monster box, aka the blaster box. Of course. $50, $50 for the Monster Box, and it is seven packs, four cards a pack, 28 total cards. That number sound familiar? It should. And the selling point of this box is 10 X-Fractor and two Ray Wave. So 12 out of the 28 total cards in this box are going to be parallels now not numbered of course but you can get numbered ray waves that those are a possibility so that's a possibility um but here's the thing though when you pull these parallels you gotta realize this here's the thing you have to realize they probably made thousands and thousands and thousands of these parallels so if you pull a big rookie sure it's a great hit but it's not going to be really worth that much because who knows how many they printed and yeah, that's pretty much the extent of that. So either way, uh, Monster Box, aka Blaster Box, I wouldn't necessarily buy that. Now, if you can't afford a hobby or a jumbo hobby, then that's a different story. If you just want to buy one of these just to see what Chrome Update's all about, then sure. But if you are a set completionist and a set builder, uh, no chance. There's absolutely no chance you're going to be able to complete the 200 card checklist with buying these. Uh, you would be spending a lot, a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot of money 
um, building this set, only buying those. So I would not. And the odds are terrible in these boxes as well. You're really not guaranteed much of anything else aside from those X Fractor and Ray Wave. If you pull a numbered card that's not a Ray Wave, then you hit the lottery essentially. Um, so either way, it's an okay buy, but not my first choice by any stretch of the imagination. So there is that. Now we go to the hobby box. I'm gonna price this at 175. I'm gonna go in the middle because I bought my box for 150. Now Fanatics and Tops.com are selling these for 200. Keep that in mind. 200 on release day. Um, so I'm gonna meet them in the middle. And I'm gonna say 175 because realistically, if you wanted Chrome Update, you would have got it on Tops.com. But for anyone who didn't get it, you're gonna be paying 200. Um, and you know, very real possibility come the end of the week. They'll probably be 250 realistically by the end of the week, maybe even 275. Um, at, at that point, I would say just don't waste your money, honestly. Um, what you get is 20 packs, four cards a pack, 80 total cards. Keep in mind, 200 total checklist in the cards. And the selling point is one autograph, not on card, by the way. These autographs, I can't stress this enough, are not on card. So this is not like normal Chrome where you get on-card autographs in normal Chrome. These autos are not on-card, so please keep that in mind before you buy this product that these are not on-card because I know I'll get some comments saying, oh, my autograph was not on-card. I thought these were on-card. No, they are not, so keep that in mind. Either way, getting to the Hobby Box um, opinion. I said this yesterday, and I'll say it again realistically this is probably the best way to buy this product um because wait till you hear what i have to say about the jumbo then you'll really really think that hobby is the best way to buy um because again i watched a jumbo i assure you or i promise you there probably is going to be more videos coming out over the next day or so opening these boxes and I'll tell you from my first reaction, I am not impressed. I am absolutely not impressed with the autographs in this product and the amount of parallels, which we're going to talk a lot about that here in just a minute because man, oh man, I guess let's just get into that now and that'll really sum up my own, my entire opinion of, of this um, product. So let's get to the jumbo, shall we? Jumbo, I'm going to price at 420 um, I see I see retailers already selling these at like 475 um and 500. I'm gonna say 420. Um I think top.com or fanatics is selling them for like 400. I'm pretty sure that's the price. Um so again, that is a lot of money for this product. Um 12 packs, 11 cards, a pack, 121 total cards. So you can't even complete the checklist by buying a jumbo that's pretty bizarre if you ask me and the selling points get this according to steel city this is the description of their product if you don't believe me go look yourself wait till you hear this three auto but that's not the twist and then it says it says two parallels on average per jumbo and yes, that does include autos. So you're not even technically guaranteed to pull two numbered cards along with a numbered auto. Now, sure, you can get a third or a fourth if you're really lucky, or you might pull one or maybe none in these boxes. So with that being said, with that being said, if you are wondering... If the Hobby Box had a parallel on average, they did not. They did not. But, but, if we can maybe draw a conclusion here, and I kind of talked about this yesterday, but I'll, I'll save that for a minute. Um, if you can put that into perspective for a second, two numbered parallels on average... How many does a hobby box have? One? If you're lucky, one, maybe none? Wow. I mean, holy shit, that is bad. And if you are wondering where these parallels are ending up, 
Let's say it all together, shall we? Three, two, one, Breaker's Delight scams. That is exactly where these parallels are going. So if you are wondering why you buy a box for $400 and pull two numbered cards, I believe that box I saw today had two. I like this. Now, actually, I think it was three. It was three. They pulled a pink a blue, and I believe a numbered auto. So three. But regardless, average is apparently, according to Steel City, two. That is pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to pay all that money to get just two on average parallels and hobby maybe only one, Oh my goodness, is that bad? Ha 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 ha. And you wonder why they didn't make blaster boxes. Because they would have been terrible. If they would have made blaster boxes of these products, first of all, it would have probably been like 10 cards for 30 bucks at this pace. And no numbered cards at all, just base. Oh man, is that bad? Ha 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 ha. You know, after this news, if you didn't buy one yet, are you going to buy one now? I'm kind of worried, honestly, that my box that I paid, well, only $150 for. But imagine buying a hobby box, like tomorrow or Wednesday, or, or I should say, uh, well, I'm recording this on Monday, uh, Thursday, Friday, right? And you pay $250, $275, $300 for this to get one numbered card? One numbered card? Now, I will say, I will say, the checklist is pretty good. There is a chance that you could pull a very good rookie. There is a chance. With the checklist, there are, for whatever reason, I'll talk more about this tomorrow. I already pre-recorded tomorrow's video, like I said. But there are, like for Paul Skeens, for example, there is a rookie and a rookie debut. So some rookies have two cards and some have one. Um, go look at the checklist for yourself to see maybe if your favorite rookie has one or not. They kind of broke the rules on what traditional update is. So it's kind of weird because there, there there is some rookies that are in like Series 2 and Series 1 that have two rookie cards for whatever reason. I, I, I don't know why. Um, but either way, um, that's aside the point. More rookies, the better, I guess, right? So that's not too terrible. Um, but either way, I mean, oh man, two parallels on average for a jumbo. And I, I assume realistically, Hobby 1. Now, I did say in yesterday's video... You do pull more parallels in hobby boxes because you get less autos. And meanwhile, jumbos, you pull more autos but get less parallels. So I am very interested to see a hobby box being opened of this product because there could be a possibility. There could be a possibility that hobbies are loaded with parallels while jumbos have less, uh, less parallels and more autos. That could be a, a possibility. But at the same time, there could be another possibility where you only pull maybe one or no parallels in a hobby box and they're all going to Breaker's Delight scams. So I don't know, man. This is honestly terrible news. Unless Steel City got it wrong, which I don't think they would. They don't randomly type those things in descriptions of products like that. That typically, those descriptions, usually all they really do is copy and paste uh, from what Fanatics and Tops hands them. So I'm really, really concerned and nervous at the end of the day when it comes to these boxes. So if you told me I'm just going to buy singles, I wouldn't even say you're crazy because really, oh, I mean, this could be bad. We'll have to serve, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to preserve our judgment until we see boxes being opened. But there's a possibility I come back on Saturday, because we have the rest of the week booked. Tomorrow, top 10 most valuable. Thursday, watch before you buy holiday. Friday, top 10 most valuable in holiday. So there's a chance I come back here on Saturday for Saturday's video and bitch up a storm about this. So, oh man, oh man, this could be bad. But either way, we will preserve our judgment until then. That is all I got for you. We're going to open a full box of Fanatics Blaster so before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video. This video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. 
and we have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below, download the app, use my promo code GRIP and RIP and save $20 on your first purchase. Again, that is code GRIP and RIP, all one word, saves you $20. So let's get into it. I'm not going to waste any more time. This might take me a little while to open these um, because I think they give you more packs in these boxes, actually, which is actually kind of cool. Um, we are guaranteed a Aqua per pack, I do believe, if I recall correctly. Um, so let's see what we pull here, man. Let's see what we pull. We have, all right, a good card off the bat, Far East Faves. We have Yamamoto and Otani. So let's see what else we pull here. Of course, we're looking for every major rookie, like Skeens and Merrill and Chirio, which are, by the way, the top three in the Rookie of the Year, which, I mean, no surprise there. I could have told you that literally two months ago. Um, either way, let's just go through these a little, a little quickly, I should say. I mean, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, Marcus Semyon. And then let's see what the... Uh, we'll look at the teal first, because obviously the teal or the awk will be revealed um, as soon as I pull this card away. So it is a pirate. It's not Skeens. It is... Bailey Falter. I had no idea Bailey Falter was even in this product. Um, decent pitcher. Not the Pirate, obviously, that you would want in this product. Uh, but either way, a cool card nonetheless for my Pirates PC. He is, gonna, he is most likely going to be back on our team next year as the fifth man of the rotation, I assume. So not a bad card there to have, I guess. Might even get an autographed at Pirates Fest in, in January. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see. We have a, I assume... We have a backwards card, ladies and gentlemen. We have a backwards card. Uh, could be a gold. Could be a silver. I, I don't know. I really don't remember. Uh, I really don't remember how these were formatted. I, I did buy, I think, two or three of these for Series 1. I didn't buy any for Series 2, um, if they even made them for Series 2. I don't, I don't know if they made them or not for Series 2. I think they did, but I'm, I can't be too short because I didn't buy one. So um, let's see what we pull here. This, this could be a, a silver for all I know. And it looks like it is. Oh, then cards just now they just fell. Uh, either way, that's yeah, it is a silver. So okay, so silvers are backwards in this product. Um, Cattell Marte, who is a MVP finalist. So, oh yes, I do not have this card, so this is great. I do not have this card, so I will gladly take this. Paul Skeen, Stars of MLB, and I guess we'll do a reveal first of Justin Topa. But yes, Paul Skeen's Stars of MLB. Now I don't have this. I didn't open much retail, honestly, this year for update. I still can't find, honestly. I talked about this in the other video um, I made a couple days ago. I still cannot find um, hanger boxes. I don't know what it is. Targets in my area? Or I don't know if any target. I, I have never seen yet. Now, hopefully, we see them soon. But I have not seen a hanger box of update yet, which is kind of depressing because... You know, there's Yamamoto. That's a good one. Um, because here's the thing with um, hanger boxes. They are the, mathematically the best way to buy update. And I have not seen them. So I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, let's just see what else we got here. We got a David Ortiz. That's the second time I actually pulled that card. Um, this time it was face forward in the hobby box. I, I bought it was face down. Um, so there's that in Austin Riley stars of MLB. I kind of find that interesting that these are all backwards. Um, and then the teal is, oh yes. <laughs> PC hit baby. There we go. PC hit. So we have two PC hits, uh, technically three so far in this video. So that's kind of cool. Cutch teal. Do not have that one yet. So that is a PC hit and a half. Uh, Cutch, speaking of which, is looking to be back with the Pirates next year and looks like, hopefully not, but looks like next year is going to be his retirement year, so that's kind of sad. Um, not confirmed yet anything like that, but he did say earlier before this year he had two years left, and obviously that one year is already gone. So um, by all means, that means he has one year left. Now, if he changes course, let's see what we got here. We have two backwards cards here, or one backwards card Let's, oh, Jared Jones, another PC. I mean, we're pulling all the good ones today, man. We're pulling all the good ones today in this video. Jared Jones, PC hit. By the way, Jared Jones, uh, I was actually at his opening or first start at PNC Park. It was opening day PNC Park against the Baltimore Orioles. Didn't do too bad. I remember that uh, game. It was actually that, that game I went to, speaking of which opening day PNC Park, <laughs> it was actually snowing in that. 
um, game. So we have Holby Milner out of seven ninety nine. This is a, I believe, purple. I believe, yeah, purple. So purple Holby. I didn't even know they put these in here. That's kind of cool. So they they put the um, Walmart and Target and Meyer cards. That's that's kind of cool. I had no idea they even put those in there. All right, that's kind of cool. Although the the sparkling is literally all over his face. What what is that? Look at that. Is that an error? You guys see that? Like, look at that part of the card, right? See how there's no sparkle? And then look at the, like, it's like a box. Huh. Well, something, oh my, look at, oh my goodness, look at this. Do you see that? Oh my God, look at that. Look at the outline. Do you see the outline? Look at the outline. There's a pitcher outline. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at the quality control on that. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at the outline. Can you see the outline of the picture? Look at it. Look, look at the camera. Look at the beam of light. You can see is it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, Namor. I have no idea who that is. First pitch, uh, whatever. Mason Miller. We have a Juan Soto and a Urias foil. All right. That's, I mean, we did pull a numbered card, but... Uh, Pretty interesting numbered card, to say the least. That is a error and a half. I knew something was wrong as soon as I looked at the card. I just couldn't figure out what it was. Well, I did figure out what it was. So here we have, we have, we have like four packs of these left. So I'm going to start going through these uh, kind of a little more quickly here. Because, um, of course, I am a certified yapper. Evan Carter, that's a good one. Uh, let's give me some skeins, man. Jordan Law, that's a good one. Uh, we got Shenton. I have no idea who that is. D.L. Hall and Adley Rutschman, Stars of MLB. I don't know why they put these backward. That's kind of weird. They should honestly insert the teal before the Stars of MLB to give you a little bit of a suspense. So let's see what the... Ah, I thought that would be Ellie. That would have been pretty cool if that was Ellie. Um, I actually did actually, fun fact, if you guys remember, I actually I did pull an Ellie Series 1 teal or aqua from the Series 1 box I bought. So I already have an Ellie Teal. I literally just saw it the other day. It was in my little box of cards I have to the side of me. Literally just saw it the other day. Didn't even remember I pulled that until a couple days ago. All right, now we have three packs to go. We have, I don't know what that, I think it's Let Him Cook, I think. Let's see what do we got here. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, 300 career home runs. Uh, Geloff. Jackson Holiday is the first Jackson Holiday we've seen this video. Uh, now, there should be a Skeens. Now, if I remember correctly, Skeens comes, like, really, like, pretty close after that Jackson Holiday card. So, let's see if I... Well, it's going to cut us off here, I think. Yeah, so we're not going to pull it in this uh, pack, I don't think. And we got a... Let him cook, Aaron Judge. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He didn't cook in the World Series. I'll tell you that for for a fact. He had a terrible World Series uh, Spencer Torkelson stars in LB and a Yamamoto and a Otani. That's, that could be a pretty valuable card, I think, right? That could be a pretty valuable card. We have three packs left to go from this opening. Yeah, they definitely give you more packs in this in this box um, compared to normal blaster boxes. I will say, it's and it's the same price. These boxes are literally the same price as one you would find in Walmart or Target. So these are by far, oh, good card off the bat here. Good card off the bat. We have a Kutch. Uh, and we have a Chrome, looks like, I assume, coming up here. Let's see what other packs we have here, or cards, I should say. Um, let's see what our Chrome is. It is a Juan Soto. Juan Soto Chrome. Let's have a little bit of a discussion in the comments. Where do you think Juan Soto is going to end up in free agency? Is he going to stay with the Yankees, go to the Mets? That would be pretty interesting, huh? We have a Young Ho Lee and a Dakota Hudson. So a Young Ho Lee on the um, Stars of MLB and then the uh, Chrome Juan Soto Stars of MLB. So where do you guys uh, think Juan Soto is going to end up? I could honestly, I think he's going to stay in New York. I think they're going to offer him like a $600 million contract for like... I'm going to say 11 years. I, I could be off shooting that. Maybe 12. Um, We'll see. I don't know. That's just my guess. Um, Bailey Falter, regular card. Jack Leiter. Uh, Cole, I have no idea who that is. Kevin Newman, Pirate Legend. A Richie Palacios. Seth Lugo. A Ahmed. A Tang. We have a Marcus Simeon. We have a Anthony Volpe. And our Gary Sanchez is a Teal. 
We have one pack left, man. One pack left. I will say this box has been... Eh, I mean, I would say it's okay. I would say it's okay. It's not been the greatest box in the world. One pack left. Let's pull something good. Um, could really only hope for a gold, I would say, at this point. Um, we, we did pull a numbered card in here, so it's uh, the odds to pull a second one. Very, very slim. We do pull a royal blue, looks like, though. So we do have a royal blue, so that's pretty cool there. Let's see what else we could pull here to wrap this video up. Um, not much. Juan Soto, regular. A Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. Hold on. There's a card stuck here. Um, so, yeah, this is the best card of the video. By far the best card of the video, unless this teal is a, is a good one, which I don't know who it is yet, but we could let we could uh, see her in a minute. Yep, that's a good one. That'll definitely pay for at least half the box, you would think, right? Then we got a Josh Naylor uh, all-star card, a Royce Lewis, and the last card is a... All right, and Carasio and Strance, that's not terrible. So, all right, so you know what? That last pack actually did redeem. The, 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 the box, I would say, is redeemed. Um, we pulled a Skeens, Stars of MLB, a Chirio, uh, Retail Blue, a terribly, terribly quality control purple. Um, and a couple other cool Pirates PC. It's Cutch Teal, by the way. That's a, definitely a good one for me. Um, so, yeah, I'll say that box was, was decent. It was probably worth $30, I would say, I paid for it. So, either way, I'm getting out of here. Maybe I'll buy another one of these. I don't really know. I don't really know how much more update I'm going to buy, to be honest, because we have multiple more products coming. Of course, the whole Stadium Club hobby... Chrome Update Hobby, Archives, Holiday. So there's a bunch of stuff coming out. So I don't really know how much more of this I'm going to open. I'll probably maybe open a little more of this maybe in January. Um, but for the rest of the year anyways, I'm probably booked. But either way, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.